Hey everybody, welcome back. This is um, just a couple of seconds after the raccoon let me down. I should have gotten some water. All the bubbly cans are, are empty. Yo, what about offensive globes? Uh, CSGO 2, global offensive? Well, I guess it's not global offensive, is it? It's just uh, it's Counter-Strike 2. I'm not deluding myself into thinking that I will be good at Counter-Strike 2. I gotta get some water, one second. I'm not deluding myself into thinking that I'm going to be good at Counter-Strike 2. But I am looking forward to it. It was probably the most recent first-person shooter that I wasn't complete detritus at. Now, I was not good, just to be clear. I was ranked high silver pretty bad. But I did, and this is not a joke, although it is funny. There's a there's a distinction. What a what a horrendous loss for me there, due to their seahorse. I was gold nova. I got placed into gold nova. Well, not placed. I graduated to gold nova. Lost my next two matches. Went back down to silver elite or whatever, and then said, "That's enough." But honestly, I'm not going to apologize for not being good at Counter-Strike. By the way, I'm definitely going to take a Salamander because I'm mad that our raccoon run failed us last time. Um, and I'm gonna, you, you get to suffer as a result of that, so congratulations. But I wish that... Um, like, I, I'm, I'm not going to apologize for, for not being good at Counter-Strike. You know the reason I'm not going to apologize? is because it's like sports interviews. Like, when the Canucks lose to the Golden Knights... They'll have the, the players on the Canucks do an interview that's like, so what happened out there? And I just wish for once they would say, look at our team, man. Look at their lineup. Look at our lineup. Look at our records. Look at where we're at in the standings right now. They're better than us. <laughs> Everybody's trying their hardest, okay? It's a... I'm going to roll once and then... Ooh, yes, I would. Freeze me here. Same thing. It's like... You know, I would be ranked a lot higher in Counter-Strike if people stopped trying. But everyone's trying to, you know, get to global of global elite. As a result, I can't get to global elite because they're they're trying harder than me. They're better. It's a you know, that's the thing with competitive games. That's a start of battle. I can live with that. I think you just gotta go in favor of free stats. Free stats, tick it free stats, tick it you know, you guys know the Jay Giles bands, maybe? Do, 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 do. I was looking at a something, something. Listen, I'm not a freeze frame guy, okay? I'm a centerfold guy. That's, it's one of the rare fun songs. Like, it's, there's some humor in centerfold, but also at the same time, it's, uh... Oh, this hurts. <laughs> Never mind. NL, big fan. Could've fooled me. I don't feel like you're a big fan right now. I'm joking. Anyway, what I was going to say is one of the rare songs that's got a, some punchlines, but is also re-listenable. And just frees me right here. Now I'm feeling better. Now that we got the salamander, it's got the first stat shift, I'm feeling okay. Jay Giles Band, of course. Also one of the very rare rock bands. Not named after the singer. Like, it has a human's name in the band as the band's name, but not named after the singer, named after the guitarist. How weird is that? The answer? Slightly weird. <laughs> Honestly, I would toss two of these boys in here, and then we're just looking for more start of battles. This is going to sound absurd to you. I feel like we can just throw a whale that eats a whale in here. Roll once for more start of battles. And then toss this bad boy down here. Get, get the magpie going. Because we're going to get two triggers out of the tree frog, which is like eight free damage. Never mind. Never mind. Raccoon, huh? Quite a bold choice. Well, you're built different. Congratulations. <laughs> two life. That's not great, but it is where we are. It's where we stand. I mean, I feel like my salamander is scaling at a pretty reasonable level. 
That's nice. It's not a start of battle, but it is kind of sick. I, honestly, I would just toss it out there. Please don't get sniped by a dolphin. Why did I even say it? Oh, no dolphin! No dolphin! Shoot the badger! Okay, you shot something. Thank God. Magpie stays winning, okay? Front badger defeated. Feels good. You are a start of battle. It's time to get rid of the, the magpie. You've done your part. Thank you. And now your watch has ended. Holy cow. I mean, we prioritize you because you're a start of battle. And then we essentially dump you because you're completely worthless. And we take you because you're a start of battle. And then we get another tree frog out there at some point. I don't know. It's a goofy team. I'm, I, it's a salamander is anchoring the team. So it's not that goofy, but it's... It's a team I, I'm, I mean, it's pretty rare. It seems like a rare, a rare one. Definitely they got a lot of help with the, with the armadillo here. And yet I'm not feeling too sussy. Oh, you're, oh, I'm not feeling too sussy. Let's go. Okay. I got scared on that one. <laughs> Who? by me. I just love an eagle. Full stop. Um, we don't really need to, Well, you know what we could do is we could have you spit out a level three eagle. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Like two of these on you, so you level. I know this is weird right here. But like, we're, we don't want a level three scorpion. But now we can sell the scorpion or the dolphin and run an eagle in position one. And then immediately upon the death of the whale, we got a level three eagle. This seems good. I mean, this, I think we just didn't go up against a, a very great team there, no disrespect. We're working on the non-salamander part of our portfolio right now. Sell me, buy me. This also makes our tree frog better. Sell me, buy me. We're definitely looking for lollipops. Beluga also goes crazy. But I think good sense has to prevail at some point as well. Don't really need you, honestly. Unless we... No, I, I still don't think we need you. Another start of battle. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> I don't really want to. <laughs> okay, well, this is a sell and a, and a buy again. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to buy a whale and have nowhere to place it so it ends up eating our salamander. That seems like it's just not smart. Okay. My tree frog! Oh, but wait. Oh, oh, and everybody mocked me and laughed at me. Everybody told me it was the stupidest move they've ever seen. Not feeling so stupid when there's a level 3 gorilla on my side. I mean... Listen, take that. We don't really need start of battles right now, so we don't need to buy another whale. I would... I mean, it's weird. But I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't think you need a slug. I think we got a great thing going already. If anything, it seems a little crazy, but I'm, I'm gonna sell the dolphin. I just don't see it being that useful for us. As useful as a chili pepper on a unit with some HP. And I, I, I'm hoping that this appears to be clairvoyant, looking at this uh, the setup of their squad here. I don't know though. Bro, come on, help me. <laughs> oh wait, no, we're fine, we're fine, okay. Are we fine? We're fine? Are we fine? No! We're not fine at all! Who would have thought that the gophers actually made a difference? Or the groundhogs? Okay, you'll give a big... Oh, but you could give a big buff to the eagle. So you're a non-starter. Can, can I have a lollipop, please? Can I have a lollipop, please? A, a, a lollipop, please? Psychotic. These are the ravings of a madman. 
position four scorpion? What's happening? <laughs> this seems really bad. <laughs> it depends what we get out of the eagle. An orca. We get two things. Sheep gives us a couple more. Okay, what, what does this guy do? Spend ten trumpets? What are you talking about? Spend ten trumpets. I'm just a guy. Okay. Right, seven wins. Listen, we're having... F seven is a pretty good record. Everybody's trying hard. Seven's a good record, and we're kind of goofing around a little bit, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Be like an untouched buttocks. I know there were a lot of other options. Here's the thing. If everything's a double entendre, nothing's a double entendre, okay? Very happy with an early trophy. Feels great. Feels bad. Um, why don't you take one of these? Let me try to win the mirror match. I, you know what I, I, I reasoned that I like about this weekly? I like that it's... Um, admittedly, sure, Leech Camel is everywhere. And then Salamander is popular. And, you know, just lucking into Scalers is also popular. But I, I like and appreciate that there are... Well, roll me. Oh, I love it! <laughs> Thank you! I like and appreciate that there's like tier one and two units, but almost none of them are useful in the late game. I, I do hate a weekly where it seems like, you know, and this hasn't happened too much recently, so I'm, I'm basically just being a hater for no reason, but there have been weeklies before where, um, and the, the seahorse just murked me here. We gotta stop putting the, and this is so late to be discovering this, we gotta stop putting the ant at the back. The seahorse screws us so often. Stop getting cute with it, start doing that. But uh, there's, there's been weeklies, I love to see this, for sure, in the past, where, um, maybe, and roll once. I'm going to finish my train of thought eventually. Uh, well, basically, like, if you get a level 2 frilled dragon by turn 3 and 4 faint triggers, like, you're getting the 7 wins, and then the late game, you know, you just got to find a pivot in there somewhere. This week is not like that in the slightest. This week is like, you better pivot off. I'll take my draw. I, I think we got a good setup here. We got two gold coming in every turn. That's meaningful. We have a level. The level is very good. Very good indeed. I think we sell the magpie and we, we have you get killed. I would accept this. I could have you level up and then get killed next turn. Not really that interested in a platypus. Not, well, maybe I'm slightly interested in a giraffe. Would I sell a 6-5 for it, though? Would I sell a 4-2? And then, yeah, I think I would sell, even though we were going to possibly kill that at some point. I think I'd be happier like that. I got one less problem without you. And get, get a big leech out here. Turns out, 6-6, six, six, not that big, but it's still pretty early. Oh, this is painful. I, how am I supposed to compete with a level 2 swan? Sure, I got a level 2 swan, but I'm supposed, I, I need to be a heavy favorite in order to feel secure. Another swan. I guess a stilt is good if we're running a dragonfly. Okay. Well, okay. Because we, we could get a unit to level 3 and then the dragonfly would be more useful. It's, as far as I can tell, this is still a good looking squad. I think we're doing our pivot earlier than most. If we are able to live, which we are, are <laughs> just barely, doing the pivot early might give us an advantage because we, we're... You know, it's like doing a, a quick tire change in F1. Sure, maybe you fall like 10 positions when you pit, but then you don't have to... I mean, everybody else is going to fall 10 positions, hopefully, when they pit. And get like so pitted. I think you'd have to be stupid to keep this. That's very nice. Maybe a penguin. I'm too lazy to think about it right now. I love seeing the stats fly. 
Are we even gonna... Yeah, we're gonna have two level... Well, we need a leech to give us two level twos. You're summoning a 4-4 four, four dog? Oh, I'm gonna be on... Oh, no, I'm on two life. I thought I was on one life. Oh, thank God that changes everything, said the world's uh, dumbest man. Um, the dragonfly beats the penguin here, so I keep it like a secret, built to spill style. The dragonflies will be buffing each other if I do this. Maybe now a penguin is, is better? Either way, we want this. Because the dragonflies are buffing each other now. It's not so bad. I think I can live with it. Please, for the love of God, just give me some free wins. We're on round eight. I need, I need the help. My best unit is a 14, 13, level three stilt. I thought it was something you walk on at like a children's birthday party. That hurts. This does not hurt. Hang on, I'm starting to feel like I, I crossed the threshold. I got, the guy who just got his third win on round nine, or round eight, I'm starting to think that I crossed the threshold. You know what I need. It's not that, but I'm not ungrateful. We need a bird of paradise. Chocolate would hit the spot too. We could donut, but I don't really care who gets the stats. Sure. We need to level up the dragonfly too. That's very nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm trying to think. We could level up the leech first and hope that it gives us a bird of paradise because I really feel like it is like the, that's our way out of this semi-cursed setup that we got here. Wow, this team is insane. There's no, I got no chance on this one. 526 Moose this is like the greatest armadillo I've ever seen in my life. Next to um, Shock Armadillo from Mega Man X. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second. But one of these, Bird of Paradise. Problem is, this guy is horrendous now. He's not buffing anything. Or he's buffing one unit. Well, if we put this out here, it'll be buffing two. Are we really going to have him buff a scorpion? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think we can afford to be <laughs> too picky right now. <laughs> How can my team be so bad with so many level threes? Said the man with 10,000 hours in the game. Well, this seems uh, suboptimal. Yeah, I can't possibly imagine how we get out of this one. We were not by too much, but... I mean, you're gonna make me say it, right? Is, is The daily's been out for five days. Some of you freaks are still out there running elephant leech camel. Yeah, I'd be running it too, but I didn't get it. That's not fair. Does that seem fair? Hardly seems fair to me. How about a flooded auntie? How about it? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you personally. Okay. Note to self for the tenth time. It worked this time, but do not put your aunt in position like the second to last position. I'm going to go psycho. I'm going to try. Let's get an early level and just see if this changes the game for us. Put your aunt in position. Put, you know, put you in position one. We're going weirdo mode with it. They're going to be like, how the heck did he get a level two? We're not really four squatted, by the way. We're actually six squatted. Because this dude summons. Oh, never mind. I got him confused. We're five squatted. And we're going to lose. <laughs> Unfortunate, for sure. Unfortunate. We have to. Tr you, you have to have an engine here. You take this. We sell this. We take this. We buy this. It'd be nice to win some rounds. How does one do that? Honestly, roll. I guess. Now you just go position one. Don't overthink it. You can be in any position. Actually, crab position one may make. Well, you're gonna have what? You're gonna be a three two. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm not gonna waste any tears on this order. 
now somewhere between the sacred silence, the sacred silence and sleep, etc., etc. We all know the song, okay? That's insanely unfortunate, but I think we draw still. But we were we were heavily favored to win. Our deserve to win ometer was like 92% there. You're gone. You're here. I'm telling you the salamander can work. Everybody laughed at um at Neil Armstrong when he said his dream was going to the moon. Everybody laughed at Nikola Tesla when he said he was going to invent the electric car. And everybody laughed at me for buying 17 board apes at the height of the NFT bubble. One of those may have been a bad decision that led to the unwinding of my finances, both personally and professionally. But that doesn't mean that, are you, who are you to tell Nikola Tesla that they laughed at Edison too? No start of battle effects? How, how sad? How sad? It's no longer that sad. It's kind of nice, actually. I'm not swapping you just yet. And you are basically like a 3-2. So I think this is a great time for a swap. And you know what? What if we went sickle mode? I just realized we should not have had my stilts in position 4, position 5. That probably cost us a trophy just by itself. Look at this. Oh, you... You got very lucky, and yet we still won, so now I look like a sore winner, which is way worse than a sore loser. Many people are saying this. One of these. Very nice. Salamander not leveling. Kind of devastating for me, but... It's okay. You know what? Forget the penguin. We've, we've been trying the penguin scaling. I'm not saying that it's all the penguin's fault, because that's ridiculous, but... Um, I think maybe the penguin scaling is, is too slow for us to focus on it in conjunction with, with salamander scaling. Although it would be very nice if my salamander could at least um, get to level 2. But it, it can wait. Like, we're getting enough start of battle effects now. We got a level 2 dolphin. That's pretty good. This is nice. Leech camel. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's a little too late on that one. It's a great time to spend here. Who's sticking around? We only know that the salamander is sticking around. <laughs> All the, every other unit on the squad is ephemeral. We're one bad round away from me uh, saying F you forever. It's, I think you got me. I think you got me, kid. Oh, you know what? I'll take a draw. My dolphin did some amazing work there. I appreciate it. Start a battle. Sell me, buy me, sell me, sell me. Reasonably good start of battle effect. Start a battle. Would be nice at some point. Again, we're, we're still... <laughs> you should be sold, actually, so that we can get the, the macaque out here. Um, what are you going to... You're going to be in a 12-12 12, 12, 12 orangutan. Maybe we'll try it like this. Right, we'll roll once. Three wins on round eight is not where you want to be right now. Um, I was just waiting to see what order the Silk Moth went in. Holy cow. Wait a minute. It was incredible. I would still... S well, you know what? We have an empty space available. Right. Very nice. I don't know why I'm putting them there. I guess I'll just put them right here. Freeze a lollipop for the future. Start a battle me. Holy cow. <laughs> I'd, sadly, I don't think it's that good, but like with a level three dolphin is not going to like scale too well, but it's probably good for killing one unit at least. You are a start of battle, and I am my father's son. It is hard to see like a long term future for this, but it's doing something. On a scale from one to dead, how dead am I from this rhino? dead. Fair enough. Level 3 fish. Must be nice. That's all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say is it must be nice. <laughs> Start a battle. Start a battle. Ooh! And then I'm like, sell me. Next turn will lollipop you. You're, gonna, you're spitting out a 24-24 orangutan. If we can get a chili pepper on here or something. 
I still feel uh, no, no, no. This is this makes sense to me for some reason. Start a battle. Then once the salamander gets stacked a little bit more on HP, even without or on HP after we use the lollipop, I should say, that's where we can move our salamander to the front to accept the extra nine HP from the silk moth that happens to still be on the squad. It's not a bird of paradise team, but it's it is interesting. I would love you to have more HP first before the hot swap here. Seems good to me. Now you move to the front. You get sold. You get rolled. No start of battles. Sad story. I, I would say we're probably not going to give a pineapple to anybody. So let's roll. We could give a lemon to an uh, to the orangutan. Oh, there was start of battles in there. That's my mistake. Although, I mean... Not, listen, it was a mistake. At the same time, we're still rocking level one Salamander. I think we're looking for kind of like alternate paths to victory right now. <laughs> What's going on here? The heck is that? We crossed the threshold. We're at six. I feel pretty good about that. We could give it a 24-20 melon instead. Yeah, probably melon is better. Listen, it's not the greatest squad of all time, but to be doing this with a, with a level one salamander feels pretty good to me, okay? I feel pretty good about this. Now, we, we have like a ceiling for this run, and I think we're getting pretty close to it right now, but you never know. Oh. <laughs> like, part of our ceiling is that we can't beat this squad, but this squad is basically like the meta squad, so that's not surprising. Um, at some point, we may receive some chocolate, but I, I guess we'd rather use that on, like, the macaque than the salamander right now. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Um, obviously, chocolate's good. The problem with chocolate stegosaurus is that it takes up space that the macaque could have. I mean, you can maybe sell the dolphin, but then the stegosaurus is also only going to buff the moth or yeah the moth if anything we'd rather have it buff a gorilla if we could finesse it but that's gonna have to take some time no gorilla don't really care about it buffing an orca i think if we get a level two stegosaurus and then, like, White Tiger Gorilla. This might be one of those, like, where there's a will, there's a way sort of situations. But obviously, like, not losing on the way to that is important. We got to seven. You got to get to seven to get to ten. And we're not even really... I'm not, I'm not that concerned about start of battles here. So the, the whole plan is now create a large gorilla. It requires a level two or three stegosaurus. I can't really get rid of you. We do have the white tiger though. What if I did get rid of you? And then put the white tiger, because right now like I have space, it's gonna be, a, we're, we've gotta remember what we're replacing the, like the, so the white tiger is replacing a 24-24 with melon armor and a 4-4 with melon armor, which is kind of a waste, but. Does this do enough? Hear me out. Pop me down. Give me an egg. And then we can't really afford to buy anything else because we unless it's chocolate. Oh, that would have hit the spot. <laughs> In that case, give me a very small salamander buff. And then roll again. Okay, fair enough. So now we're going to have a level 3 gorilla that's going to receive a nice buff from our stegosaurus. I don't think the buff is going to be nice enough. No, it's not going to be. But if we, I'm telling you, if we get the stegosaurus to level 2, there is a chance. I also feel like the, if you A-B test that one, the macaque loses that one easy too. I don't think Bird of Paradise is what we're looking for. We can't afford to be too picky though. So let's buy. it is going to give us a buff and we have to give it a held food. This is a held food.
Okay, now you're going to be like almost max HP. <laughs> you're going to be... Oh, no, you're not going to be level 3. You're only going to be level 2. I forgot. But that ne this is now the proof of concept we were waiting for. Oh! To leech camel! Really? Some of you people are sick! Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!